Hello, everybody. Um, this is Wellness Week, which is a way to promote physical education, health education, physical activity, and school-wide health and wellness. My name is Adam Mullis, and I can't thank you enough for being here today. Um, I know you have plenty of things to do, so thank you for spending some time with me. I think it's important that you know a little bit about me. Um, I teach health and physical education uh, in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade at Creighton Middle School. Uh, I have my master's in education, curriculum, assessment, and instruction, and I'm working on my PhD in health education and promotion. This is uh, my fifth year of teaching, and I'm also past president of the South Carolina Association of Physical Education and Sport. Um, I work at a wonderful school with Creighton Middle School. One of the programs we've decided, and I say we as in principal, other colleagues, PE teachers, RN is the Healthy Alliance for Healthier Generation. And what this is, is a um, whole child, whole school, whole community model of trying to promote health and wellness. And if you meet certain qualifications, you're eligible for a national award. And one of the things you, you, you need to do for this program is to create a healthy way to celebrate all your hard work. And if you haven't heard of Healthy and Generation, I would definitely suggest it, Googling it because it's a great program, but that would be a whole nother presentation. But because of this award um, is one of the reasons informing that I had a reason to do Wellness Week and it gave me the idea of how to celebrate health and wellness. So the goal is, of this presentation is to give you ideas to promote school health and wellness. Um, so here we go. The motto of Wellness Week is be the best version of you, which I think is critical that people understand, at least from my perspective, that wellness isn't how you look. Uh, I'm not trying to make you more ripped or more muscular, but I want you to be able to live your best life and who, however you want to do that. Um, wellness Week is basically a spirit week for health and wellness. The days were picked on large risk factors. Um, obviously, you know your students probably even better than data on the CDC with the YB, YRBSS survey, um, but that was helpful in trying to find big risk factors. <clears throat> Each day of Wellness Week has a theme, and it was created to promote a healthy habit. <clears throat> Each morning has a related announcement to that day. I present to the staff to let them know about what Wellness Week is. Um, there's a physical activity challenge that I'll show you along with a step challenge. We gave wristbands and bags to students, which I'll talk about. I'll talk about why athletic wear passes were a huge hit at my school. Um, and donated massages were very useful in giving teachers incentive to do some extra things. We partner with a local farmer and I'll show you about our signs that we use to promote school-wide. So just FYI, during schools always have a lot on their calendar with fundraising, with science fairs, picture day, you name it. So if you were thinking about completing a wellness week, it would be a good idea to talk to your boss the summer before or as soon as possible to outline what you want to do and to pick a good date because that can be very difficult. It took me three years to really figure out a good time for wellness week. Um, we go over daily themes. I basically give my boss an outline and is there any funding available if possible? So here's this year. This is our third year doing Wellness Week. And here was Wellness Week this year. We had Monday, um, which was sleep day, which you could wear your pajamas to school. Tuesday was advocate for a cure day, which was where the color or disease or cause you want to spread awareness for. Um, Wednesday is healthy eating day, which is dress up as your favorite fruit or veggie or in the color of your favorite fruit and veggie. Thursday is physical activity day. I'm going to be honest with you. Our teachers love this day because they get to wear shorts and sweatpants, um, which is a great way to get them involved in wellness week because they get to dress comfortably. And Friday is be kind day, which is wear blue for bullying awareness. So um, uh, basically a giant email and presentation is to let teachers know what's going on. And I tried to figure out a way to not put everything on the 
elective people um, are on the core teachers. So we have a physical activity challenge and their A block teacher provides them this link. It could be easily done in a you know, Google form or Microsoft form or whatever your district uses. And it really just asks them to log their physical activity. Of course, you know, I'm sure not all students tell the truth, but you do the best you can and try to promote health and wellness and the A block who wins gets an extra incentive time in the gym where they get to be physically active and do basically whatever they want, which is a huge incentive for middle school kids. Our step challenge. Um, teachers really got into this. Basically, I just put giant charts and I put one on each hallway. So we have an elective hallway, a sixth grade, a seventh grade, an eighth grade hallway. The teachers decide on their own teams and they have to log their step every day at a certain time. Um, teachers were really into this and the winning team received an athletic wear pass. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Some teachers even had their classes walking with them for five minutes during each class. It really was a great thing to promote physical activity. Athletic word pass, pretty simple. Um, my, my boss didn't like a sweatpants pass and that's fine with me, but uh, teachers love the fact that they could wear shorts or sweatpants during the day. And if that encouraged them to, to walk more with their class or be physically active, it was a huge incentive and pretty easy. It's kind of like a jeans pass, except you can wear athletic wear like sweatpants. And obviously I had to get permission from my boss, but she was okay with it. So um, really easy, not expensive way to get staff involved is a athletic wear pass. This is a sample announcement. Obviously each day was geared toward that theme. So the Monday of our wellness week was um, sleep day. So we talk about what wellness week is and then we go into tips that I got from the CDC about being consistent, removing electronics, avoiding caffeine, et cetera, et cetera trying to promote school-wide about Wellness Week. And every day there is a theme and a, a little bit of knowledge to Wellness Week. Another thing we did last year at Wellness Week, we were able to write a small grant to get every student a bracelet that said, CMS Wellness Week, be the best version of you. So all students received a band. And I think that was a great way to, to let them know that Wellness Week is here and what it's about. And it's basically free advertisement for what health and PE teachers are trying to do. This year we got drawstring bags, which probably was more liked because they were useful to a lot of students. Students seemed to like that at my school and it had the motto, be the best version of you. Once again, not a necessary part necessarily for Wellness Week, but a great way to promote what you're doing to more, to as many people who will see that wristband or that bag as possible that Creighton Middle School is a school that cares about health and wellness and academics. This is a picture from Monday, which was sleep day of students wearing pajamas, which everybody likes wearing pajamas and it's comfortable. The students really seem to enjoy that. Um, so everybody needs to move, so let's play a quick game. Uh, you're gonna play rock, paper, scissors against me. And if you win, you'll do 10 arm circles, if you lose, you'll do 10 arm jacks or jumping jacks. And if you tie, you can march in place. You can do that seated or standing, five each leg. So you'll play me, I'll give you about 10 seconds. We'll do three rounds and get a little movement in this presentation. So here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So if you won, you have 10 arm circles. If you lost, you have 10 jumping jacks. And if you tied, march in place, five each leg. I'll give you eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, scissors. Did you win, lose, or tie? I'll do my 10 arm circles. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, scissors again. Did you win, lose, or tie? I'll give you eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All righty. Um, this is an example of our staff at Physical Activity Day. My colleague, who is another PE teacher, wore her rock climbing gear, and then I had another 
teacher who you can see how he dressed. He's quite a character, but promoting physical activity nonetheless. Another big part of our Wellness Week this year was the door competition rubric. Feel free to steal, borrow. I, I used that rubric from somewhere, I'm sure, and just changed it a little bit. Um, trying to get teachers to be their own advocate about health and wellness that they found important. So I'll show you some examples of what that looked like. So this one was actually our winner by our rubric. And by the way, I had other teachers on their hallway graded <laughs> um, the rubric. So this one was promoting um, mental health awareness and it gave some tips at the bottom about what to do, which was a really powerful message, I think, for a lot of middle schoolers. Um, this one was advocate for a cure. So this particular teacher had a uh, very close tie and how it affected her with breast cancer. And she actually made a survival wall as well, which is really, really neat and a great way to promote that the best thing they could do right now is be physically active and healthy. Um, the next one was playing off of Seven Rings Wellness Edition. So it talked to some tips about health and wellness there. This one was done by our Spanish teacher and talked about how, um, you know, obviously using his content and ways to be healthy with washing your hands and things of that nature. And if you're wondering why would teachers do this? Well, the winner of this competition received an $80 massage uh, gift card that was donated by a local company. So lots of teachers participated and did some amazing work. I, I wish I would have had more uh, gift certificates to give away. This one was about sleep, um, in which obviously with the cute little sheep there and some tips about how to get better sleep. Alrighty, this is pictures from Advocate for a Cure Day. I asked teachers to you know, wear a color. We had lots of pink. Um, and it was, and I asked them to share about why they were wearing it with their staff. And a lot of them shared with me as well. And it was really amazing to hear all of their personal stories and tied and a great way to advocate for things such as breast cancer awareness and things of that nature. So empowering the teachers to become their own advocate to students and students wore colors as well. Um, this one, we have healthy eating day, which you can see. Um, one teacher dressed up in a banana suit, some teachers wore fruit salads, other wore shirts with fruits on them, some of them just wore colors and said, you know, I'm blueberry today, which is still a way to promote health and wellness and healthy eating. Um, and this is our librarian who was a fruit salad as well. Part of uh, Wellness Week was a um, compliment Friday which involved in our bullying awareness, which is really simple. This has been out for a while, but I thought it was really important to add something that students to be kind to. So they just took a, one of the pieces of paper and gave it to another student, which was really powerful and a great way to promote kindness, and especially with our uh, climate about students, particularly in middle school, being mean to each other. This is another example of a colleague liked my idea who works in a high school and she took it and made it her very own. Um, in a lot of ways, she did a great job. She made it fit to her school. So healthy lunch workshops. She had spring into health and fitness day, be, be bright, eat right, sweat your socks off and fitness Friday. And I think she did a really good job of bringing in some experts to her school which was really cool and something that maybe you could do at your high school or middle school or even elementary school for your staff. So just a suggestion of a wellness week timeline. Um, it's really important. I'm sure we're all busy and have a million things. And if you wanted to create a uh, wellness week, then it'd be really important to figure out how you're going to create all these things and what time. For me, it takes me about two months to get different things in orders, anything from contacting the farmer to any other thing that needs to be done. So here are some tips and things to look for. This is the order I did it. Doesn't mean you have to do it this way. Doesn't mean you have to use all of these things, um, but a really important suggestion. 
So moving on to our last, one of our last slides. One thing I did want to talk about that I had to go back and find really quickly was uh, we partnered with a local farmer. Um, his name was Farmer Martin, someone who's in our community, and we asked him if he could make boxes. So teachers paid about $12 to get a sample of a, of a box you see right there. Um, I had students actually, of course, wash their hands very well and create these boxes, one of my classes, and they were actually in charge of giving them out to teachers. So just a really cool element. Um, definitely sometimes a lot of work with the, the farmers, but a really cool way to get fruits and vegetables to teachers as well. So some ideas for your wellness week. Um, what is the data? If you're trying to create your own wellness week, you know, what is the most important health issues to your particular community and school? Um, I would definitely suggest starting simple and easy. Um, is there funding available? Um, for me, having that national award that our school does gives me more reason to be able to do that. Um, who can help you? People who've been super helpful in my school have been nurses, high school students, because I work in a middle school, guidance counselor and other teachers have been a huge resource that are passionate about health and wellness. Um, we even had sometimes like the nurse has provided a video about healthy eating. We did that one year for Wellness Week, which is a great way to promote health and wellness. Are there any community partners that could be willing to donate prizes to either students or staff? Um, students are super important with creating health and wellness, but don't forget about the teachers. You're not, as a PE teacher, of course you have a very strong impact on students, but you can't reach every single student. So if you reach your teachers in your building, they can reach a lot of students too to help promote health and wellness. In reflection, did Wellness Week work? Did it, for me, did it actually promote health and wellness? And I wish I would have provided some kind of survey to students to show the positive impact. I think it worked. I think it's a great thing for the school, but I do wish I had a little bit of data to back that up. What school-wide competitions can you have? Um, maybe competition, isn't something that works for your school, but for my middle school, it does. So can you have a, a group-wide goal of trying to walk from here to somewhere or something like that? Um, who could you video to influence health and wellness? So for the first year, we sent out videos. I talked a, lot, a little bit. We had a coach at a high school who was a strength coach, and he was basically a living legend. Um, he, it was very, uh, very powerful for middle school students to hear the high school coach talk about why um, physical activity is important compared to me. So use who you have in your community. Um, maybe rather than wellness week, you could have wellness year, which you could split it up um, for different parts. I like the week because I feel like it's a, it's a bigger celebration, but I could also see some advantages of just having something monthly as well. And of course, make it fun. I think particular, I don't know, both teachers and students have a negative stereotype about what health and wellness is. And it's all about, oh, I have to eat broccoli and I can't eat this and I can't do that. But health and wellness is, is about being the best version of yourself. So making it fun is critical. Um, my first year, it felt like nobody participated in Wellness Week. Everybody was looking at me like I'm nuts. Um, but you figure out what works and what doesn't work and it will be better the second and even better the third year. I really think if, if I were able to, again, that nutrition demonstration would be critical and a really good way to get adults cooking and maybe even students. If you have some kind of garden at your school, um, it could be a powerful way to start somehow giving students samples of, of fruits and vegetables. And of course, um, in this day of age, we have to think about what could be done online. And I think you've seen lots of, I have seen on social media, lots of spirit weeks online. And I think it would be, um, Wellness Week could be online as, as well if, if that needed to be in your area. So I do have to give a little plug for the Scaford Conference. If you are in the South Carolina area or a neighboring state, we really hope to see you. November 13th through 15th. If you want to present, please go to Skateford website and present um, and submit a proposal. I had to put a shameless plug in there. And if you need anything from me at all, my Twitter is P.E. Mullis. 
and my email is um, my email is adam.mullis at richlandone.org. I cannot thank you enough for spending a little bit of your time with me. And if you need anything, please email me. I hope I can participate in the chat, but I'm not sure if I will be. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I do this to my students, and I want you to know as well, I always end every class with love you, mean it, bye. So thank you so much.